Hey, let's talk about the Stray Kids. Hello, my friends. How are you today? Wow. Um, I gotta tell you. There is just some interesting stuff that's going on with the Stray Kids and their music. It is definitely, definitely, they are becoming more and more known. Um, I have been listening to so much of their music lately and I am really enjoying it. I gotta tell you, I, I think I have a bias with this group, but it's kind of like Bang Chong. And Felix, I'm like, both of these guys, I think are amazing and very talented. And, you know, I kind of see them as the ones kind of rising up more and more so. And I, I'm happy. I, I, I think they're great. I think Felix's voice is just, I love someone who can sing really high in falsetto and then go low and sing low. And he can, and that is talent. The song Maniac, I just, I adore. And I mean, a lot of their songs, I've been listening to their music more and more and more. Kind of get their vibe, kind of see them in the videos, clips on YouTube, you know, paying attention about them. And they are a funny group of young men. And this uh, Korean K-pop group, they are not all Korean. I mean, well, they're Korean, but they weren't, haven't been all been born in Korea. I, and some the, the English is actually their first language. Like poor Felix, he grew up in Australia and he had to learn Korean. And here he is rapping and singing in Korean. And it is mind blowing. I will tell you that right now. The others were all born in South Korea, but I think some of them know more English. I think Ban Chan, who is, he is the leader, the lead vocalist, the lead dancer, rapper, and producer. L Lee No is the main dancer, lead vocalist, and rapper. Chang Bin is the main rapper, vocalist, and he's also a producer. Hyun Jin is a main dancer, lead rapper, vocalist, uh, visual, and um, he's the center. Now, then you have Han, who is a main rapper, a lead vocalist, also producer. And Seong Min is the main vocalist. Felix is a lead dancer lead rapper, vocalist, and you have your youngest I.N. who is a vocalist and he's like, you know, the young little guy of the group. Now, I do, we'll go into their astrology in just a moment if you want, or you could skip on head to the tarot reading. <laughs> you know, I know I forgot to introduce myself like, hey, I'm G Sparta. I just jumped right in, didn't I? Ha! I'm D Sparta, folks. <laughs> And um, I, <laughs> I look forward to more of your comments. Let me know if you want to hear more information from the Stray Kids. Other videos you want me to do. I'm gonna. I gotta do G Dragon. I really, really want to do him. And um, Jackson, Lynn Jacks, is that him? These, these two, I, I'm really curious about. But we'll get into that. I might do some of those over on Patreon. Anyway, folks, let's get into this. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I put in chapter links so you can jump ahead straight to the tarot reading. And we'll get into it. I'm going to just do a full group reading today. I can do individual readings on these young men if you wish. But we'll find out how, how many likes I can get. Share this video. Subscribe. My channel's growing. And thank you all. I appreciate it all so much. Okay, well, let's get into the astrology. Hey, thank you for sticking around, my friend. Whew. Wow. Let's get into the astrology of the Stray Kids. And let's start with Bang Chan. Now, Bang Chan, he is the leader. And he is a Libra. 
And we also know his rising sign, which we don't know the others, but from what I can tell, his rising sign is Libra also, and his moon sign is Taurus. Now, remember, the sun is the core and uh, the ego and ain't who we are, while the rising sign is whom we present to the world and to others, and the moon is about our mind, our emotions, and thought processing. So you have Libras who are just, they love harmony. They can be very gentle and sharing. They do not like violence. They try to avoid any kind of confrontation, but they can't. Libras are known to that they can carry a grudge. They are very fine, fair-minded, gracious, diplomatic, and cooperative. So as a leader, he can you know, these are definitely good skills for a leader. Um, the moon as Taurus, we're seeing someone who is um, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, stable, stubborn, possessive, can be a little uncompromising. But yeah, so we got that with him. And then, um, let's see here. Who should I look at? Let's get Lee No. And he is, sun sign is Scorpio, which is a water sign. And they're very powerful, brave, passionate. Um, they do get jealous. They could be, you know, a little distrusting, a little sneaky about things. But they're very much a true friend. If they're your friend, they're, they're your true friend. Um, and Virgo is his moon sign. And those are just working hard. They're very practical. They can be shy. They're loyal and analytical kind of feelings you get from him. And let's get into um, Chan Bin, whom <laughs> he's fire, folks. I'm talking Leo, Leo, Leo. Now, I don't know his rising sign, but his sun sign and moon sign are both Leo. And I got to tell you, that boy's probably got so much charisma, he's oozing it. And I... You know, and just a lot of creativity and passion, cheerful. But he could come across looking arrogant and stubborn and self-centered. And sometimes he's, you know, kind of like, I just want to chill and not do anything. It's my time. I get to be lazy on my time, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. That's that's kind of a Leo. <laughs> and then Hyungjin, his sun sign is Pisces, which is a water sign. And um, water signs, you know, that's all the creativity coming forth and communication. They're very intuitive, compassionate, artistic, musical, which definitely you see in him. Um, they can be sometimes a little over-trusting. Um, they can also, you know, want to just, you know, kind of have big dreams and, you know, a head in the clouds kind of thing. And um, let's see here. Let's look at Han. Oh, yeah. And um, Hyunjin's uh, moon sign is Virgo. So we got another Virgo moon sign over here. And Okay, so we already know about Virgos, though. And then we have Han, who is Virgo. And... Felix is Virgo, and Sin, S Sung Min, Sung Min is also Virgo. Now, you look over at BTS, and, you know, RM and JK, they're all Virgos, and they also, there's a few I, play, people with Virgo moon signs. A Virgo, I definitely, I'm not surprised to see Virgos in the entertainment industry. With um, Virgo usually have such a drive, and um, hardworking and perfection wanting. But they also um, have this um, side of them where they're kind of, they, they, they're really kind of critical on themselves and others because they put such high expectations and they're kind of shy. Um, they don't like having to ask for help. And 
but they love food, healthy food and nature, books, reading, things being clean and order, orderly, you know. They're very kind, very kind. So we got that, you know, but um, with Han, his moon sign, though, is Pisces, which is that water sign of just, you know, as I was calling it, they're very compassionate or artistic, and you kind of see that in his heart uh, coming out of who he is. And when we look into... Um, uh, I lost, I lost the next person to um, Felix and Xiaomin Jin. They have the exact same signs. They are both Virgo sun and they're both moon Aries. And so you got that Virgo hardworking energy and then you got this fire energy from Aries coming in and you could just see that come out of them. This Aries is very courageous and determined, confident, enthusiastic, honest, passionate. They can be a little moody and impatient. Very impulsive. It's like, I think I want to go do that. You know, without going, oh wait, maybe that wasn't a good idea. You know, just dive on in. And so you get that kind of vibe, energy. I, I definitely see that in Felix. He's so cute. Okay, I, maybe I have a bias this time. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. <laughs> then we have Ian, the youngest member of the group. He His um, sun sign is Aquarius, which is an air sign. And then he has Leo as a moon sign. And, you know, we look at Aquarius and with their, um, how th their air energy is, they're, they're really good in networking and businesses. They're very independent. They're humanitarians. They can come across as aloof. It's more of like a protection. Um... They don't want to always express their emotions. They like to become look, be independent and original. Th this is the fixed sign, unlike where Libra is the cardinal. You know, Aquarius has a more a little bit more, not willing to you know change who they are, how they are, kind of feel, which is a fixed you know fixed energy. But you got their um moon sign which does um ah, my thing which was it was um it was leo right so he they got fire with air and that is incredible because for that's where you know he comes out his um passion his cheerfulness his uh creativity um, so we kind of see all that kind of, that's kind of where the signs are. I don't have much more info on them. Um, if I do get it, when I do personal readings of them, I can go into a little bit more in depth and I would love to do that if that's what you guys want, but you need to let me know. So you have to like this video. I want to see a bunch of likes. <laughs> if you don't want me to hit dislike, that also tells me to. So you guys, let's let's tell me what you want here. You know, I'm, I like I like doing all these different groups mixed up with my true crime, which can be sort of depressing a lot of times. Yeah, you know, this is more uplifting and more enjoyable for me. <laughs> so I don't mind doing all this. So let me know, and yeah, let's. You know what? We I think it's time that we get into the actual um, tarot reading. All right. I'll see you there. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we are going to get into this tarot reading on Stray Kids and kind of see what's up coming next for them, where we see them going. You know, how are they all getting along? You know, I don't know. This is, I've not done the Stray Kids. You know, I've done black pink on the here I've um done also a lot of BTS <laughs> but I have covered if you're on my Patreon you would see Alexa and Sai and some others that I will that I do readings on oh. 
Let's see here. So just remember that everything here is alleged. It's for entertainment. I am listening to the Stray Kids as we speak, as I speak to y'all and get this reading going. It really helps me connect with their energy. Ah, so let's see your Stray Kids. Okay. Okay. So we have the Fool, which is the very first card of the tarot. And the Fool doesn't mean, you know, you're someone who's, you know, is not mean you're a fool or you're stupid. It's, it's more of um, taking that chance, taking a risk, jump off the cliff and, you know, see that you won't get hurt. You know, it's... um. It can also sometimes be a little naive, but I'm seeing more of they need, there's a the chance they have to take, take a risk, you know. Um, and the chariot. Okay, so I think they're going to be going, there's going to be a tour soon, maybe? Or they're planning one. But, and they want to go to other parts of the world and start. It, it, the expanding I'm seeing here. And, okay. Now, here's the Ten of Swords. And these swords are in reverse, which is good. I don't like, the Ten of Swords upright is really bad. So, because it looks like, you know, she's getting stabbed in the back. <laughs> So yeah, so um, this is usually means things can't get any worse. I think they have had an uphill struggle to get to where they're at. And I think there's some stuff that's been happening to them that's not public. Yeah, it it's um they're not keen on too much I think there's some there's something gosh, what is this? Now the moon came up, so there's some kind of fear um and confusion in the air around this making jump, taking this chance and doing moving for on, moving on Maybe a tour, going, um, working more outside of what they used to, and, but it's like, we've already done so much, we've done this, that, it's, maybe, I think they tried something and it didn't go over well. Um, they tried to, something new, and it didn't go well, and it's like, we, do we even try this again? I'm getting feeling, and here's the hermit reversed um this means withdrawing themselves which you know over this chariot of moving on it's almost now i'm seeing a seeing a bigger picture here of <sighs> oh boy um, there's something up here. They're with JYP Entertainment. That's pretty big size. Um, so Seven of Wands reversed and the Page of Cups upright. Like, Seven wands, feeling overwhelmed, giving up, lack of confidence, page of cups. There's a 
dreamer, a happy surprise. Something... There's been a struggle trying to figure out what direction for them to take right now. Yeah, here is the Seven of Swords upright. This is, there's somebody. Who, there's some deception. Someone is, this, I don't know how to explain this. It's almost like there's somebody who wants stray kids not to succeed. They want another group to. So it's, they're making it harder on the stray kids. Um, I'm feeling they're being overwhelmed, overworked to a sense. They, it's like we need a break. We need some time to be ourselves. I feel like right now they think they're feeling like puppets almost. Here's the um, page of swords. Yeah, and... They're curious about making some changes, I think. They're curious and restless. It's why why is it we why can't, is it more happening and who is the queen of cups? She is a problem. I mean, queen of coins. She is a problem. What she is doing is very um She's jealous and she but she could be smothering and just too in their lives. Just way too much. It kind of reminds me of what happened with Omega with um Omega X was it them. I get that same kind of vibe. It could be a guy with just a lot of feminine energy, but they um they they feel like, hey, you're here because of me. And they want the attention. They don't want the, and the, the reason why here's the Wheel of Fortune, you have any fortune is because of me. Okay. Um, the Ace of Cups reverse. This is kind of sad um, because this is something feeling empty, um, block creativity and then you have the um, Nine of Swords here reversed. Fortunately, the swords are reversed. Because they are going to reach out for help. They need to. There is... Someone's going to be like, hey, you know what? I'm not mentally well. I need boundary set. I need to be able to rest. I need my own space sometimes. We all do. We're all, you know, we look, they, they, they work well together, but they need a break from that. Um, here's the high priestess. Things are going to come to light of what is happening over there. The truth is going to be coming out. JYP, something's going on with that entertainment company. And... I want to pull up my other deck again. Oh, God's Menu. That's a good song. Cooking like a chef. I'm a five-star mission. Sorry. <laughs> I need help. Mm. All right, boys. What's going on? Huh. Here's, you see the birds, 12, the two birdies. That means that there's some kind of gossip. Could also have to do something with a couple or there's just a lot of 
stuff going on about them. Um, let me get more cards here. See what direction this is going in. Because this is the house of chatter is what those birds represent. Okay. All right, we got the cross. And with the cross here, that's interesting because the, the cross is known as um, just suffering or making a sacrifice. It's the house of burdens. It's the six of cups. Um, let's see if that card comes back up. Let's see here. Whoa. What? Let's see here. Okay. All right. So, yeah. 23. You see the Mises. This is anxiety, house of anxiety and losses. So, um, they're with that next to the sacrifice, the loss topic. There's... Hmm. Okay, I got the, right on top. Got 12 again, and it's interesting how they're right on top of each other. So, I am kind of thinking, there's two people. That there's gonna be that is this is focused on. Are they gonna try and drop two people from the group? Oh let me see. Okay. There's a man. Okay. And there's two faced. So gotta look deeper there is something going on that's happening and we don't have the right perception he wants to look like he is a martyr but he's actually the trouble um here's 37 this is time um Let's see what we have to look for and wait for. Yeah. 42 is the compass. This is taking stock of your journey and know where you're going. There's a lot of deception. Somebody is messing with these ki stray kids, these boys. There's like... There's somebody, a deceiver, somebody who is trouble. Um, 19. 19, as you see, this is a tower. This is authority, bureaucracy, someone in the seat of power and authority. So, and then they're causing six clouds of confusion amongst the group. They're trying to get the guys. It's almost like somebody if these boys are united then I don't have a chance. So I gotta try and keep them you know competitive with each other and trying to stir up confusion and misunderstandings between them all. It's like he wants to try and keep them. He, he thinks it's better if they're not united. So united. Okay. So three is the ship. And this is traveling adventure. This is going abroad. This is taking a holiday maybe. So I was seeing, you know, there is the moving on. There, There's going out. There probably is going to be some kind of tour. 
Um, but there is so much that could cause it to be... I think if they go on this tour, it's taking a risk. Um, things are going to come out. Ooh, as soon as I said that, here is 27, which is the letter. Um, this is all about tweets, social network protects, something coming out in correspondence, which I was just saying, and I pulled that card. There is something that's going to come out, and it's going to go viral. I think um, the K-pop industry is going to get shaken up pretty soon altogether. I don't think it's just the Stray Kids. Um, I think what goes on behind the scenes is going to come to light. And yeah, and here's the woman who's the problem, who's a big problem you're going to learn about. Because in 41 is the well, you have to look deeper and you'll see you have to dig deep. Because you're going to find more about this, what's going on. This is about, this is the woman who has been hurting these kids. Um, yeah. Crazy. I do hope the best for these guys. I really do. I want to see them succeed and achieve all their goals and dreams. I appreciate you joining me in this reading. Um, comment down below with, if you want me to do more with the Stray Kids. I, I don't mind. I, I, I'll do it. Uh, just, I need to know. Remember, hit the like button or the dislike. Comment down below. Remember, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'll see you around. Love you.